All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the song is End of Days by the artist Vinny Paz. Uh, if you are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Um, let's go ahead and jump into this immediately. This is the first time I will be hearing or listening to um, either of these artists. Um, all right, let's go ahead and jump into it. The greatest form of control is where you think you're free when you're being fundamentally manipulated and dictated. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch it. The other one is sitting in a prison cell but you can't see the bar you think you're free. What the human race is suffering from is mass hypnosis. We are being hypnotized by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We are in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. Uh, what, he sa- what this guy is saying in the speech here is vague enough to basically make you think whatever... He's not like confirming anything. He's just speaking vague enough for, for for the listener to basically add whatever they want to hear onto it. Kinda. All right. All right. Let's get it. Going on, what is really going on? But why do they choose this this quote? Let's get it. It's like we all know what's going down, but no one's saying shit. What happened to the home of the brave? Yeah, as of now, the production is super dope, bro. Um, f- overall, this feels like hip hop, right? Nothing but respect. Let's get it. The home of the brave. These motherfuckers, they control this now. When no one's talking about how they made us out of these slaves. And everybody's just walking around, heading to clowns and won't awaken to a dead in the grave. But then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise up. Well- 9 11 was an inside job. Hold on, what is this? Wake it to a dead in the grave. By then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise up. Welcome to the end of day. Everybody is slave, only some are aware that the government releasing poison in the air. That's the reason I collect so many guns in my lair. I ain't never caught slipping, never underprepared. Yeah, they shade sign on me. They just spray it proudly. George Bush, the grandson of Alice the Crowley. They want you to believe the lot of the enemy Saudi. The enemy ain't Saudi, the enemy around me. It's- okay. Um, the enemy, they want to believe that the enemy is Saudi. The enemy is not the Saudis. It's the enemy. It's the, they're around me, basically. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Like, I don't understand the whole, um, Muslims are terrorists. I don't understand that shit, bro. I don't, I just don't get it, bro. That's, that has not been my experience. Um, literally like at all. Okay. Um, the problem is, is that you, you always want to paint the other as someone else that is, you know, you know, terrible basically. Right. Uh, there are pockets of people that are absolutely terrible people in every single um, ethnicity. Do you understand? Like there are legitimately absolutely terrible people. Think about it. Like, for example, in America, they're like, oh, uh, the, the Muslims are this and they're terrorists and shit like that, bro. But like, have you like there are this literal larger terrorist faction in America and they are not the ones shooting up schools, bro. Okay, they're not. They're not the ones doing this weirdo shit, bro. They're not shooting um, uh, movie theaters up and all this other weird shit. Mass shootings. You know what I'm saying? Like these are these are groups of all different shades of skin, right? But they're generally not Muslims, bro. Right? So we are the terrorists in America, more so than the the the, the people that that uh, subscribe to Islam. Do you understand? It's our ideology that's toxic, generally. Um, so, like, yeah, I don't like that that um, blame everything on on Muslims because they're different culturally type of shit. I hate that shit, bro. Let's get it. You do believe a lot of the enemy Saudi. The enemy ain't Saudi, the enemy around me. It's fluoride in the water, but nobody know that. It's also a prominent... I thought, I thought everyone knew that. Uh, let's get it. The enemy around me is fluoride in the water, but nobody know that. It's also a prominent ingredient in Prozac. For real? How 
how could any government bestow that upon people who believe in political throwback? That's not all that I'm here to present you. I know about the Black Pope and Solomon's Temple. Yeah. About the Vatican assassins and how they will get you. And how they clone Barack Hussein Obama in a test tube. It's like we... How they grew Barack Hussein Obama in a test tube. Um, he, what he's saying when he says this is is like, first of all, no, okay. But secondly, what he what he's referencing is that um, um, some groups of people, right, say that Obama was grown in a test tube, um, because he was like genetically modified or something from like. Some random, like, um, I think Akhmatan or something. I, know, I forgot the guy's name, dude. Egypt, like an Egyptian pharaoh. And Michelle Obama was the the descendant of the same pharaoh. And the kids are just descendants of the... It's just weird. It's just... Uh, listen, no, bro. You, you, you're pushing it. You understand? You're pushing it. All right, let's get it. I know about the Black Pope and Solomon's Temple. Yeah. About the Vatican assassins and how they will get you. And how they clone Barack Hussein Obama in a test tube. It's like we all know what's going. Yeah, listen, now, throughout, though, his delivery is super dope, bro. This, this feels like hip-hop, as I said earlier, dude. Um, like, 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 line for line, his cadence is super dope also. Um, but the overall messaging of the song is interesting, right? This is, uh, you know, every time I hear End of Days, it reminds me of something that... Um, that like like politicians push to kind of create fear to create votes. You get what I'm saying here? Um, that's what I hear generally whenever I hear these type of wild, you know, you know, um, conspiracies. Let's say right because it, you know, a lot of these are conspiracies, right? But keep that in mind. Conspiracy is not something that's always false, right? Um, it's generally something that's unproven or does not have enough facts to back it up for for the masses to uh, accept it as fact, right? Um, but but he, I don't know, dude. What the the Barack Hussein Obama grown in test tube thing, bro? That just kind of threw me off. Uh, and it kind of you know maybe he should have that specific thing right there lessens a lot of whatever he has to say. You know what I'm saying? Because that's so absurd. It's so absurd, right? Um, let's get it. Let's continue. Yeah, but no one's saying shit. What happened to the home of the brave? These motherfuckers, they controlling this now. When no oh, please be aware. I absolutely don't like Obama. So before we even get into this weird, weirdo shit, you guys are coming at me in the comments like, oh, but you like, no, not really. No, I don't like Biden. I don't like Obama. Please stop. <laughs> please. Let's get it. Was talking about how they made us fight and be slaves And everybody's just walking around Head in the clouds and want to wake up to a dead in the grave But then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise yeah, The hook is solid Whoever built the pyramids had knowledge of electrical power And you know that that's the uh, he's referring to the um, the Baghdad battery uh, See, the, the problem with that this theory, right? Um, is that the Baghdad battery, all it did was give them the capability to melt gold down. So they had knowledge of electrical power. That electrical power was not used for for like lifting things, right? It was used for melting jewelry, bro, right? Intellectually honest here, please. Be, be intellectually honest. All right, let's get it. Whoever built the pyramids had knowledge of political <coughs> power And you know that that's the information that they suppress and devour Who you sick the motherfuckers that crashed in the tower Who you sick that made it turn into ash in an hour The same ones that invaded your own The ones that never told you about the skeletons on the moon Yeah, the ones that poison all the food you consume The ones that never told you about the Mount Vesuvius tombs The bird flu is a lie, the swan flu is a lie While My wife actually had the bird flu Okay, do you see what I'm saying when I said this, bro? Like, it's you it kind of like that that one line about Obama being born in a test, being grown in a test tube. It comes with a lot of other connotations, right? It comes with the fact that that same theory is related to Michelle Obama and her two kids. So they're all descendants of a, a test tube baby, apparently. And Michelle Obama and, and Barack Obama are like brother and sister. Or like twins or something. They were grown together. I don't know the, the nonsense. And now the fact that... Not, so, so somehow, somehow, 
the bird flu doesn't exist. I need to go and tell my wife this. Tell her that that uh, that did not that did not happen, bro. That didn't happen. No, 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 no. Because this guy, he says it didn't happen. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. You rap too good. All right. <laughs> You're too dope of a rapper to be talking all this weirdo shit, bro. All right. Let's get it. About the mouth of Sylvia's tomb. The bird flu is a lie. The swan flu is a lie. Why would that even come as a surprise? Yeah. The polio vaccine made you die. It caused cancer and it cost a lot of people their lives. Do y'all know about Bohemian Grove? How the world leaders sacrifice the children in robes? Lucifer is hard in the public school system. I suggest you open up your ears and you listen. listen. Uh, technically, there, there is no God in the public school system because the public school system is public and without religion. Any entity that is within the public school system in America that is religious religion related is not lawful technically. States actually go in and say, no, 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 we need to have this, but federally it is illegal, okay? Because you know why? The United States of America does not have a religion. This is not a secular state. We are, we are not a religious country. There are religious people, but uh, church and state has a, a massive separation. So if you're saying, so he's saying the devil is God in church because they don't want, they don't want religion in church. That's not even intelligent, bro. Why don't you want religion in church? No, 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 that's not what I mean. Why would there be religion in church when there is a obvious separation of church and state? You, you understand? You, you break laws federally on the federal level by making people pray in school and Bibles in school. It's a public school. The state is paying for it. I'm confused. <laughs> like, what do you do with the, the people of other religions that go to your school? They have to be subjected to your religion? Why? Bro, this is throwing me off, bro. This is this is throwing me off, okay? Um All right, let's get it. I don't know about Bohemian Grove, how the world leaders sacrifice the children in robes. Lucifer is hard in the public school system. I suggest you open up your ears and you listen. I am listening, sir. Like we all know what's going down, but no one's saying shit what happened to the home of the brave. These motherfuckers, they control this now, when no one's talking about how they made us out of these slaves. And everybody's just walking around, head in the clouds, and won't awake to a dead in the grave. But then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise up. Welcome to the end of day. The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. If you can persuade them that what they see with their eyes is what there is to see. Hold on, bro. Who is this guy talking? Because they'll laugh in the face of an explanation that portrays the bigger picture of what's happening. And they have. Hold on, bro. We're going to check out who this guy talking is, bro. Um, before, because like, his name is David Icke, Ick, maybe, Ick. He is a, he is a, David Ick is a British conspiracy theorist, um, most known for his assert that a group of reptilian humanoids, uh, that he refers to as Babylonian Brotherhood control the world and is slowly, uh, unifying it into a fascist state. He makes his living making this assertion. Okay, no. Um, okay, listen. Um, listen, this guy, musically, sonically, he's amazing. His message is just, I don't know, bro. It's not its not in my wheelhouse, at least, right? But um, I would like for anyone, you know, if you guys have any, if there's anyone that has any information that proves any of what he is saying is correct in terms of, like, you know, full documentation, I would, be, I would love to change my opinions on a couple of these these topics. If so, yes, but something tells me that that's not a plausible thing because this is, bro, he's too nice for this as a rapper, bro. I don't know, dude. Um, either way, dudes, you guys have an amazing day. Um, I expect a lot of dislikes here, but um, dudes, enjoy your enjoy the rest of your day, all right?